Alright then gang, so we've already seen how to quickly read a file using the read file function. We did that in the last video. But now I want to show you how we can actually open a file and keep a reference to that open file in a variable. And this way will offer us more options than the read file method. And once we have that file open, we can do multiple things with it, like read it and write to it. So first of all, we need to actually open the file. So at the minute, I've got this file and quotes.txt. That's what we're going to be reading and opening. And I've stored that readme.txt. In fact, this needs to be quotes.txt inside this variable. So now we want to open this file to read. So to do that, we're going to store the reference to the open file in a handle. And we're going to be using that handle to do things in the future. So set it equal to f open. That's the function name to open the file. Then we pass in as the first argument the file we want to open, which is quotes.txt. And then the second argument is going to be a little code, and we're going to use R. Now, there's many different codes, and we'll go through a few of them later on. But this basically means that we want to open it up for reading only. So when we open this using this code and store it in this handle, we can only read from this file. We can't write to it at the minute. OK, so then how do we read from the file? Well, there's various different ways. The first way I'm going to show you is to use the f read function. So we're going to echo this out, f read, and then we pass in the handle this time. Notice we pass in the handle and not the file itself. We've opened that file and we're storing the reference to that open file in a handle now. And now we're using this handle to read the file. So that's the first argument. The second argument is how many bytes we want to read of this file. Well, I want to read the whole file size, and I'm not too sure what that size is. So I could use the file size method that we saw in the last video to use to find out the size of this file in bytes and pass that in here. So we'll say file size, pass in the file, and then that should do. So that is going to read all of the file and echo it to the screen. So if we refresh, we can see all of that file right here. OK, so if we wanted to just read maybe 112 characters or 112 bytes, rather, we could, if we wanted to, we could say f read, and then we want to pass in the handle and also the bytes 112. Okay, so let me comment out the first one up here and save this, refresh over here, and we can see just this bit now, the first 112 bytes of the file. Cool. So that's one way we can read the file. Now, another way is by reading a single line of the file. And we do that using a different function called fgets or fgets. So we can say echo fgets for single line and then pass in the handle. Now, this time we don't need to pass in a second argument, the number of bytes, because we're just reading a single line no matter how long or short that is. So if we save now and refresh, we should see that first line. Now, notice what happens if I do this again. I'm going to duplicate this onto the next line, and we're doing it twice. Now, if I refresh, then we don't get the same line twice. We get the first line, then the next line. So what's going on there? Well, this is because of a thing called a pointer when it comes to reading files. So you can think of a pointer as a bit like your cursor. When you open the file, that cursor is at the start of the file, and so is the pointer. Now, when you read a line, the pointer is moved to the end of that line. Now, when you read another line, it reads a line from the position of the pointer at that moment in time. So the pointer's here because we've previously read a line and it reads the next line. And then the pointer would be here at the end of that line. If we read another line, it would start from here and read this line and the pointer would go to there, etc. OK, so that's this point in action. Now, we can read single lines, but we can also read single characters. So to do that, we use another function, and that is called fgetc. So this is fgets for single, and this is going to be fgetc for character. So I'm going to pass in the handle again. And if I save this and refresh over here, then we can see t. Now, that is the next character over here, t, because currently the point is there. Because remember, we've just read two lines. So the pointer is still here and we're reading the next character. Now, if we were to comment these out, then it would start at the very beginning because we've not read the lines now. And so the first character would be a B. Now, if we do it twice, we should get the word B. So let me save that 
and refresh over here and we see B. Awesome. All right then, so that's how we can read from the file. Now, what if we wanted to write to the file? Well, currently, like I said, we couldn't do that because we've opened the file with this code R, which means read only. If we wanted to write to the file, we'd have to use a different code here. Now, one of the options is using R plus, and that allows us to read and write to the file. Now, if we wanted to write to the file, we'd use a function called fwrite, and the first argument is gonna be the handle. The second argument is what we want to write to the file. So I'm gonna use quotes here, and I'm gonna say new line, first of all, so backslash n, that escapes the character and goes to a new line. Then I'm gonna say everything popular is wrong. Now what's gonna happen here? Where's it gonna write it to in the file? Well, if I save this, in fact, I'm going to copy all of this in case I need to paste it back in later. Notice the file. It starts with this quote and ends with this quote, right? Now, if I save this and refresh in the browser, it's going to run that file. And if we go to quotes, now we see this is the first quote and the first quote previously has gone, right? So we said, write this new line and it's done that. It's gone to a new line. So one is empty. And then this quote and it's written that right here. Everything popular is wrong, but then we get the remainder of the other quote as well. Okay, so it's written it at the start of the file, and it's written over the stuff that was already there. If we paste in the original, we can see this was the first quote, and it's just written over this up until up here somewhere, all right? So what if we didn't want to do that? What if we wanted to write from the end? Well, instead what we could do is use a character A or A plus. And what that does is when we open it, it places the pointer at the end over here, okay? So this is back to the original and we're opening it up now using this thing right here, which allows us to write from the end because it places the pointer at the end. So now when we write this, we should see the quote added on. So if we save it and run it again by clicking refresh, go back to quote and we see everything popular is wrong at the very end now, okay? So that's how we write to a file as well. Now there's loads of different codes we can use. Well, not loads, but a handful. I'm not gonna show you them all, but what I will do is leave a link to this list right here, which says what each one is for, okay? Now it's always good practice when we open a file and do something with that file to later on close the file. And we do that by using F close and passing in the, file, uh, the handle rather that we want to close. So this thing over here, okay? Now, I want to show you one more thing, and that is how to delete a file. And we do that by using the function unlink. So we pass in the file this time, not the handle, the file that we want to delete, which is this thing, quotes.txt. We store that up here, and that is going to delete it for us when we run this file. Refresh, and boom, it goes. Cool. So there we go, my friends. That is a better way to open a file and read it, and also write to the file as well.